This is Brandon Lee with BetFirms.com here with your 2012 Duke football predictions. The Duke Blue Devils enter their fifth season under head coach David Cutcliffe. He has been charged with trying to turn around a program that hasn't been to a bowl game since 1994. While Cutcliffe has made the Blue Devils more competitive, he has compiled just a 15-33 and record in his first four seasons. They are coming off a 3-9 and campaign in 2011, including a 1-7 and record in ACC play. After a 3-2 and start, Duke would lose its final seven games to end the season. With 17 starters and 44 lettermen returning, Cutcliffe could have his most talented team yet. The Blue Devils have a chance to start fast with home games against FIU, NC Central, and Memphis over the first four weeks of the season. However, they've been dealt one of the toughest schedules in the ACC after that. Here is a look at their offense and defense, as well as my prediction on where Duke finishes in the Coastal Division. The one thing that Cutcliffe has certainly brought to Duke is a more explosive offense. The Blue Devils have averaged at least 20 points in each of his first four seasons with the program, including 22.5 points and 366 total yards per game last year. They have eight returning starters on offense, and this should be his most productive unit yet. Senior quarterback Sean Renfrey returns after completing 65% of his passes for 2,891 yards and 14 touchdowns to 11 interceptions last season. Cutcliffe has stated that he may be using backup quarterbacks Brandon Kinnett and Anthony Boone at different positions this year to get their talent on the field. The Blue Devils return their top two rushers from last season in junior Jawan Thompson and senior Desmond Scott. Scott missed three games last season due to injury, and he'll likely get the bulk of the carries simply because he's more explosive than Thompson. Duke parts ways with two of its top three receivers in Donovan Varner and Cooper Helfett, but they bring back leading receiver Connor Vernon. Vernon earned first-team All-ACC honors last year for his efforts. Starting alongside him will be sophomores Jamison Crowder and Blair Holiday, who was the co-most improved offensive player in the spring. The offensive line needs to play better after paving the way for just 94 rushing yards per game, while allowing 19 sacks. That shouldn't be a problem considering seven of their top nine linemen return, including 90 career starts. While the offense has improved under Cutcliffe, the defense hasn't really gotten any better. The Blue Devils yielded 31.2 points and 425 total yards per game last season. However, the road ahead looks very bright as they welcome nine starters back on defense heading into 2012. Nine of their top ten tacklers return as well. The defensive line gained valuable experience last season as six freshmen returned that played in 2011. Their three returning starters are junior defensive end Justin Fox, junior defensive tackle Sidney Sarmiento, and senior defensive end Kenny Anucky, who had four sacks and three starts before taking a medical redshirt last season due to injury. The Blue Devils will be returning five linebackers who finished in the top 14 in tackles last season. Leading the way will be junior weak side linebacker Kelby Brown, senior middle linebacker Austin Gamble, and junior devil linebacker Brandon Braxton, who switches over to defense after spending the last two seasons at receiver. The secondary should be improved this season despite the loss of their top guy in free safety Matt Daniels. This unit returns three starters in junior corner Ross Crockrell, senior free safety Walt Canty, and senior corner Lee Butler, who took a medical redshirt last year. Senior strong safety Jordan Bias is also experienced. Now for my ACC prediction. I have the Blue Devils picked last in the Coastal Division. It's hard to pick Duke to finish in the cellar of the Coastal Division with all the experience and talent they have returning. If they could have drawn an easier schedule and their division wasn't so stacked, I could have easily picked this team to finish higher. However, they draw both Florida State and Clemson from the Atlantic, which gives them one of the toughest schedules in the ACC. I expect them to, them to finish with more than three wins for the first time since 2009, but it would be hard to see the Blue Devils putting an end to their bowl drought.